Magandang buhay! I am Teacher Maricar. Come and join me as we study another lesson in math. Today's discussion is all about comparing and ordering of similar fractions. In our previous discussion, we discussed about similar fractions. Similar fractions are fractions that have the same denominators. Example, 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths. If we look at all the denominators, they are all in 4. This set is an example of similar fractions. Since we already know what similar fraction is, let's now try to compare this type of fractions. In comparing similar fractions, the bigger the numerator, the bigger the value is. On the other hand, the smaller the numerator, the smaller it is. To compare fraction, we use the following symbols. We use greater than, less than, and equal to. For example, let us compare 2 fifth and 4 fifth. Which numerator is bigger? 2 or 4? Very good! It's 4. Since 4 is bigger than 2, therefore, 4 fifth is bigger than 2 fifth. Two fifth is lesser than four fifth. Let's try another exercise. Luna jogs three fourths kilometer every morning, while Claire jogs two fourths kilometer. Who jogs longer? Let's compare three fourths and two fourths. Since 3 fourths is greater than 2 fourths, Luna jogs longer. Let's try to compare the following fractions using the relation symbol. 2 fifth and 3 fifth. Very good! It's less than. Six sevenths and four sevenths, which is greater. Very good. It's six sevenths. So six sevenths is greater than four sevenths. How about five ninths and five ninths? Very good. They are just equal. Let's compare 8 tenths and 4 tenths. Very good! It's greater than. How about if we compare 1 third and 2 thirds? Very good! It's less than. Since we already know how to compare similar fractions, we can now arrange them in two ways. First is in increasing order, and then the other one is in decreasing order. When we say increasing order, we start from the smallest fraction going to the biggest fraction. For example, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 8 tenths.
when we say decreasing order, we start from the biggest fraction going to the smallest fraction. For example, 8 tenths, 4 tenths, and 3 tenths. This time, let's try to practice identifying whether the set of fractions are in increasing or decreasing order. Two-fifth, three-fifth, and four-fifth. Is this in increasing order or decreasing order? Very good. It's in increasing order. How about six sevenths, five sevenths, and four sevenths? Very good. It's in decreasing order. How about six ninths, seven ninths, and eight ninths? Very good. It's in increasing order. How about 5 sixth, 4 sixth, and 3 sixth? Very good. It's in decreasing order. How about 7 tenths, 5 tenths, and 4 tenths? Good. It is also in decreasing order. Let's now have a recap. In comparing similar fractions, the bigger the numerator, the bigger the value is. On the other hand, the smaller the numerator, the smaller it is. We also use the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to in comparing fractions. And to arrange similar fractions, compare their numerators. We can arrange the fractions in increasing and decreasing order. Let's now see if you really understand our discussion. Let's try to answer the following activities. Let's compare 5 eighths and 1 eighth. What relation symbol should we use? Very good. It's greater than. If we have 8 ninths and 3 ninths. Good. It's greater than. How about if we have 3 fourths and 3 fourths? Good. They are equal to. Four sevenths and six sevenths. Very good. It's a less than. How about four fifth and two fifth? Good. It's greater than. This time, let's try to order 7 tenths, 8 tenths, and 3 tenths from largest to smallest. Very good! It's 8 tenths, 7 tenths, and 3 tenths. How about if we order 1 third, 3 third, and two-thirds from smallest to largest. Very good. It's one-third, two-thirds, and three-thirds. Lastly, 
order the following similar fractions from greatest to least. 6 sixth, 4 sixth, and 5 sixth. Very good! It's 6 sixth, 5 sixth, and 4 sixth. I hope you learned a lot from our discussion. Remember that in comparing and arranging similar fraction, we just need to look at the numerator of the given sets. Again, thank you for watching. See you again.